Hello everyone, I am Rohit. I on behalf of Sriorobindo Society would like to welcome all the teachers to one of the most successful and innovative idea sharing platform of India, ZIIEI, that is Zero Investment Innovation for Education Initiatives. Here we will be discussing about new and innovative techniques for the different lessons from our chapters. And in short, we will be learning about how to make the whole process of learning fun and interesting for the kids. Today, the chapter that I'll be covering is from NCRT board. Subject is Environmental Studies. It's from third standard and the name of the lesson is the plant fairy. The main innovation that I'll be taking here for covering this lesson is known as concept explanation. The main innovation behind this idea is to give the students a hands-on experience of the activities that are being taught in the lesson so that they can easily relate the things to their day-to-day -day life. Some of the important concepts that we'll be covering with the help of this lesson are uh, learning about different features of plants, learning about different features of leaves and about the diversity of plants and leaves. Before starting the class, we need to make some pre-arrangements. We'll be needing different leaves, consumable leaves like coriander, neem, mint, etc. You can take as per your convenience. And we initiate an activity in the class. First of all, we'll be focusing on giving the students the concept about different types of leaves. We initiate an activity. We divide the class into different into small groups and we tell the students that now one by one the students will be coming to the uh, to the teacher. They, are, they will be handed over a leaf. They will have to guess the name of the leaf and for that they will be getting point. But the main point is while doing the activity, the students will be, will be blindfolded with a, with a piece of cloth. We initiate the activity. First of all, we call out one by one the students from each group. They will, we give one leaf to, on their hand. They will to crush it, smell it, and taste it while their eyes are blindfolded. And they will have to guess the name. For every guess, for every correct guess, the students will be getting one, um, one point. Next, we again continue the activity. In the next round, the students will be coming to the teacher. They will be handed over one leaf. They will have to crush it, smell it, and this time, instead of tasting it, they will just have to guess the name of the leaf by just feeding the texture. Once the activity is done, once the, all, all the students have got one chance for the activity, we initiate a discussion in the class. We tell us, we ask the students, okay, students, tell me, uh, are the leaves, were the leaves all the same? Were all the leaves same? Or um, where did all the uh, leaves smell same? Did all the leaves taste the same? Do you have any other leaves that you consume at your home? Have you seen these leaves earlier? So when we initiate the discussion with the help of this question, and then we inform the students that there are different types of leaves that are available. Some of them are consumable, that is edible, and some of them are non-consumable or non-edible. Then we tell the students that um, next we will be focusing on learning about the diversity of different leaves. And we uh, cover this uh, in the second and third period. For this activity, we tell the students to get their copy and crayons and color pencils and come to the playground. We take the students to the playground. In the first activity, we ask the students to go around the playground and collect fallen leaves. The main point we ensure in this, in this activity is that we should tell the students to make it a point to not pluck the leaves from the plants but instead they will be picking up the leaves that have fallen in the ground. And we also keep an eye on this. Once they've collected the leaves, we make the students, um, we give them certain time for this activity, say 15, 10 to 15 minutes. Then we sit in a circle and then we ask the students to get a uh, drawing of the leaf, but they have to place the leaf inside a copy and just gently rub the crayon over the leaf so that we get the rubbing of the leaf. Once all are done with this, we ask the, we initiate discussion with the students. We ask them, are all the rubbings of the leaf things same? Are the colors of all the leaves same? Do they smell the same? Are the rubbings of yours similar to, the, to that of your friends? We take all the responses and we give them the information that there are different varieties of leaves and these are the different leaves, these are, there are different shapes and patterns and textures of leaves. Next, we continue with the activity. 
we divide the whole class into five groups and we ask them again to go around the playground, make a few observations like uh, they have to write down on the notebook what are the different plants that they, uh, that they know, the ones that are there around, what are the names they, they know, they have to write down the name. And also while doing the activity, we also teach the students how to look at the trunk of the tree or what are different flowers or um, fruits that are available with the help in the trees. Once they're all done with that, again, we give 50, 10 to 15 minutes for this activity. Once it is done, we again gather and assemble at one place and we ask the students, initiate a discussion with the students, asking them a few questions like, what are the plants that you have noted down? What are the different types of, what are the plants that bear fruits? What are the plants that bear flowers? What are the plant, trees that bear edible fruits? And what are the plants that they bear non-edible fruits? And similar for the flowers, we initiate the discussion like this. And then in the fourth period, we tell the students that since you have performed so well, so today we will be playing a game. The name of the game is the plant fairy. For this, we ourselves become the plant fairy. We tell the students that we'll be giving out certain name, we'll be calling out certain names. And once we hear that sound, all of, all of the students will have to go and touch that thing. Suppose we say that plant fairy wants the students to touch the trunk of a tree. Then all the students will have to go run and touch the trunk of the tree. This way we continue with the class, help making the students understand about the different plants, different types of plants, different types of leaves and about the different features of plant. We play the game in this way. As a revision and also to make the students, give the students a better understanding of the leaves uh, and make giving, um, creating an environment of self-learning, we tell the students to observe the plants in and around your house pick up any plant or any tree from their nearby, uh, near to the house, give a certain name to it and make observations of the plant that uh, is it a flowering plant, does it bear only flower or does it bear fruit also, is it edible or is it non-edible and so on and make the observation for a duration of time. And we also ask them to uh, no record all the observations in a notebook. This way we continue the class giving the students various concepts about different leaves, different plants and different features of plants, making them and giving them a hands-on experience. And if you teach the students with this method, they will be getting a lots of benefits. First of all, they'll be learning about the different features, easily adapting um, the tech, the lesson, easily learning about different features, different diversities of plants. And also they will be getting, learning about the different environment and also some basic um, ethic, etiquettes like uh, not uh, about not uh, not to pick up the not to pluck leaves from the plants and so on and along with this they will also be developing the teamwork interpersonal skills and this is a making skills and so on that's all for this video if you like this video please to like share and subscribe to our official channel Z I I E I.